Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, today we're going to show you how to add a little tagline under your logo right there. Really easy to do, so let's get started. To do this today, I'm actually going to create a global header. So let's go to our dashboard. Once at the dashboard, we're going to go down to Divi and theme builder. That's going to take us to this page here. I'm going to get rid of the custom global header that I've got here. Simply going to trash it, save the changes. Now if I go back to my page and refresh the page, we'll be back to the default Divi header there. Great. Well, let's do this. I'm going to add a global header. Just going to click where it says global header there. I'm going to say build global header and that's going to bring us to this page here and by default it puts in a default section and asks you to put in a row with a little green button here I'm going to keep mine very simple today I'm going to make it similar to the default and just add that tagline underneath there so I'm going to add a new row what I've got in mind I'm kind of want my logo on the left with the tagline underneath it and perhaps the menu on the right here so in the first one, rather than using the menu module to do all of it today, I'm going to put my logo in just with an image module. I'm going to roll down, get the image module. And I'll select my logo down here. And if I move this across, you can see it's popped it in there. That's a little large for me. That's fine. Linking, as it's your logo, you really want it to link to the URL of your site which is www.yourdomain.com. Mine's a local host here, so you'd put your link right there. That way, every time they click on the logo, it'll take them back to the home page, and you want it in the same window. Okay, well, I'm not actually gonna put the link in there, but that's what I'd do if this was a, a live site. Okay, well, that logo is far too big, so I'm gonna go to my design. In alignment, I wanna pop it in the middle. You won't see any change, a little bit of shift there. That way, on mobile, it'll be central. Sizing wise, it's way too big. So width wise, I'm gonna take it down to about the size that I want it. Perhaps something like that. Obviously you adjust yours how you need to. All right, that's all I wanna do for the logo. And let's pop a menu in over here. I'm gonna hit the little dark button to add a new module to our little column. And I'm gonna use the menu module. There it is right there. Select the menu that you want. Top menu is absolutely fine for me. That's the menu I was using before, but you've got to drop down here to select any menu that you want. And it's popped it in there. I'm not going to use the logo or elements or anything like that because we've put our logo in manually. Okay, well, that's going to be similar looking to the original there. Let's just save our changes. I'm going to shrink it up a bit. It's way too wide for me up here. So if you click anywhere outside the row there, we can go into the section, the blue tab. I'm going to take away any padding top and bottom, so I'm going to go to design. Layout, I'm going to say show in a shadow so we can see where it stops there, which is quite a nice little effect. I'm going to go down to spacing down below. I'm going to take away any padding top and bottom by simply putting a zero in and then hitting the chain, it'll do the bottom too. That's looking a bit more like it. I might need to drag that down a bit in a minute, but let's add our tagline or whatever it is you want to put under your logo. And it, it's really simple. What I'm going to do is just click on this module. I'm going to hit the little round button, dark button there to add a new module. And I'm simply going to use a text module, which is right at the bottom under the T's. There it is. Obviously, I don't want that much text under there. So you can write in your tagline, whatever you want it to say. Or I'm actually going to use dynamic content for mine today. So let's just delete that. Deleted all the content within it. Let's move this up a little bit. I'm going to hit my dynamic content. I'm going to have the tagline for my actual site. If we look down here, we've got site title, site tagline. There it is right there. We can put current date, whatever you want to put there. I'm going to use my site tagline. And of course, if you're doing that, anytime you update your tagline, it'll update that for you. 
great. Well, I want it a bit smaller than that. I want it close to my logo and I want it in the middle of the column. So let's do that. Let's go over to design. Text, I'm going to line it in the middle, but I'm going to take it down to maybe 12 pixels. You can slide, type in a value or increment up and down with the little arrows here. 12, I think that's going to work for me. Let's pop them in the middle. It's great, but it's way too far away. Now, I don't think there's any padding on this. We can check that by closing up the text and going down to spacing. I don't think if I put a zero in there, it's not going to make a lot of difference. Nope. So what we're going to do is use a bit of negative margin to pull it up. We're going to do that on the top here. So you can either type in a negative or just flip the little arrow down to negative one. Let's try negative 20. Nope. Or about negative 30. It's getting there. Let's just increment up or we've got to increment down as it's a negative. Get it exactly where you want it. I think something like that will work for me. Great. Okay. Well, that's got what I want there with the actual tagline underneath. I want to pull this down a little bit so it's more in line or in the center of our logo and tagline. To do that, I'm just going to grab it, going to go in there, little cog. Again, I'm going to go to design, spacing. Now let's try 15 pixels on the top. That's close. It's not too bad. In fact, I'm going to leave it just like that. And I'll skinny it up just slightly by taking a little bit more padding off of our row here. So let's save the menu settings. We'll go into the row, click anywhere within the row. We'll go into it. And again, design, spacing. I'm going to take not all of the padding, but let's take it down to 10 pixels and perhaps see what that's like. That's a little tight. Let's make it 15. Obviously, you can do what works for you. I'm going to hit the chain so the bottom's the same. But yeah, that looks about right for me. Let's save our changes now. Hit the little purple button. Hit save in the bottom right corner. Once saved, we can X out. Make sure everything's saved on this page. Once we've done that, let's take another look at our site. And what I'll do is refresh the page here. And there we have it. We've got our new global header with our little tagline. I think I could have taken that down another five pixels. I might do that quickly. But apart from that, it's looking pretty much how I want it. Obviously, you could make that row full width if you wanted to stretch it out. Let's go back in here. And I'm just going to take this down by another five pixels. I'm go in there to design, back to spacing again. And let's make that perhaps 20. Great. We'll save that. Let's see how it looks on mobile and tablet. Little purple button at the bottom. I'm going to hit the tablet view. That's fine. It's centered our logo and we got our little tagline underneath. Could center the hamburger menu if you wanted to. Let's have a look on mobile itself. And again, we got similar going on there. So that's working quite well. I think I would center that little menu at the bottom there. And you could even make your logo a little smaller on mobile if you wanted to. So there's plenty of options there and that's a really nice little effect, really easy to do. And like I say, anytime you change your tagline, I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Let's make sure everything's saved down here. And we can X out. It says all changes are saved there. I'm going to click it again just to make sure. If you want to change your tagline, I'm using a dynamic tagline in there. You can go to your appearance to customize. That's going to take us to this page here. In the general settings, site identity, there's your little tagline right there. That's what we use for our dynamic content. And put in whatever you want. Save it or publish it, I should say. Now let's go back to our site. We'll refresh this page again. And there we go. We got our updated tagline there under our little logo. And our little menu items a bit more central there. So there you go, guys. There's how to add a little tagline under your logo with a Divi theme and create a very simple custom global header. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them or make a demo video for you. 
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.